So at first I didn't even realize what I was looking at because he was bugging out quite a bit and with the fog in here it's even harder to figure out what's here but if we move a little bit further over to the right you will see that we got ourselves a level 3 whitetail deer here and I didn't even find him in a drink zone like I was expecting to. This is a resting zone. As you guys know, I have been discovering all of my different whitetail zones for Leighton Lakes. And while I'm thinking of it, let's go ahead and toss up the map of everything that we have discovered so far in the three days that I've been searching Leighton, trying to find all of my whitetail zones. And this is the first good whitetail deer that I've found. Now, keep in mind, I have not shot any whitetail deer. I've been strictly just trying to find all my zones before shooting any, but... I can't really pass up on this guy, so we're going to try and get closer to him and take him out with either the shotgun or the bow. But I figured what a better way to start out a video about a giant diamond whitetail being taken with the bow than to do the same thing on a different map because in this video we are going to be taking a look at a kill that I got a little while back. I think it's been three or four days at this point, but we ended up getting ourselves a giant whitetail deer with the bow. And I figured this is probably the perfect way to start this video out, taking down another giant whitetail with the bow. Alright, so I think we're in an area where we can finally start calling. Uh, the only thing that we gotta worry about is that they might go to the left a little bit, but I think we should be okay, and especially if we can just hide in this tree, we should be fine. But it's gonna be interesting, this is kind of a cool area to take a big buck out, so I'm definitely excited to try and get him down with the bow. Well, we got the smaller buck 31 meters away, actually 36, but still very close. The uh, larger one shouldn't be too far behind, I would imagine. Looks like all of them are coming up here pretty quickly. I can't quite tell where this big buck is. I've seen both of the smaller bucks, and then we also have the doe right here at 23 meters, but I don't see the big guy yet. I mean, he was the farthest in the back, so... I guess it would make sense that he's the last one to show himself, but we've got all the others right on top of us, and oh my gosh, there he is. There is that absolute giant whitetail deer. He's now behind the rock, but he's getting a lot closer. Wow, just look at those antlers sticking up over the brush. That right there is a giant. Let's just hope he doesn't go too far left and get into the wind. That would not be good. Uh-oh. He definitely notices that we're here. Yep, he is alerted. Oh, I see why. We moved out a little bit too far. I think we're good now. That, uh, <laughs> that could have been bad. But at least it wasn't the wind and it was just our own error there. Alright, so I decided to move a little bit to the left in hopes of making this wind shift further to the left, away from this, uh, white-tailed deer. And it does seem like it's working. It does seem that we have got the wind to kind of not be quite as directly towards them which should help us with getting this guy close let's just hope that he still wants to come to us oh there he is I just caught him out the corner of my eye I can't really get a spot on him though I think he actually might be trying to run he is about 40 away but he's in the rocks this is not the best spot, but I think we can make that shot. We're going to have to. Oh my gosh, we nailed him. I can't believe that that shot actually worked out. That was such a sketchy shot and a sketchy angle to take, but I believe we got vitals. Yeah, that's definitely vital blood. So that is a absolute monster of a whitetail buck on the ground. What a giant. That tip to tip spreads pretty bad, so I doubt this will break 270, but what a giant regardless, and that was a crazy shot. Not the angle I would normally take for a uh, bow shot, but it worked out, and that's a 269.80 whitetail deer. 98.87 kgs. I was right, though, it didn't quite break 270, but that's still a very solid deer. And man, we hit double lung from that angle. I actually can't believe that that worked out the way it did. It was almost too high, though. But I'd say that's a fantastic way to start this video off because this next kill that we're going to show off, we actually got a diamond white tail deer on Rancho Del Arroyo during our Great One grind, and we took it with the bow. Now, unfortunately, uh, for some reason, I don't have any game audio in the clip. I don't know why I had to 
um, changed a couple things around with my headset to get it working again. So there's no game audio sadly, but you'll still have the commentary over top of it. But it's a little unfortunate that the game audio wasn't working properly. But I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to that. Well, well, well. So I spent the majority of my morning streaming with Flinter and you guys have been requesting that for quite a while but because I was streaming with him I didn't really have time to do my daily Call of the Wild uh, Whitetail grind and because of that I decided to jump on uh, right now and look around and on run number three of the day we got ourselves a diamond potential buck and I think this one's pretty much guaranteed to be a diamond uh, I'm thinking about maybe trying a risky neck shot or something like that but I think we're just going to call it in and see if we can get it to go broadside. Because that's probably going to be the smarter decision here. Um, eventually I want to try and take one of these with a bow. And in fact, you know, let's go ahead and try to take this guy with the bow. It's been forever since I've taken a bow shot on any diamond for that matter. So let's try to do that. Let's see if we can get this guy down with the bow. So at this point in the grind, we are roughly 800 kills into it, and actually a little bit more than that on Rancho alone, and over 4,200 kills in total between Leighton Lakes and Rancho. And this is only, I believe, the fourth uh, diamond buck that we've seen on Rancho Del Arroyo on our own map. We got ourselves two of them within the first, I think, 500 kills and then we got one in the couple hundred kills after that and now we just found ourselves another one So hopefully this is gonna go well. It's been ages since I've used a bow So this very well could go wrong, but we're gonna hope for the best So I'm not hundred percent sure what the best way to approach this is gonna be I'm thinking that we might want to spook him out of there and just try to get him to uh, Run back towards us as he's returning to his own and hopefully we can get a shot into him then because I don't think they can actually come across the water. If I'm remembering correctly, there's no way for them to do that. And if I try to stock up, he's just going to spook. So, uh, did not mean to do that. But I think we're just going to run up to him and try to spook him. And then wait for him to come back to his zone. And try to get the shot off then. Honestly, this is one of the nicer looking whitetail racks. So, I'm really hoping that we don't screw this guy up. Because I really like the way that looks. Uh, I like these smaller like 260s uh, to high 250s. I think they look the most realistic out of most of the diamond racks. Though they're not the biggest one, I do think they are the best looking. So let's see if we can get hidden. And this seems to hide us right here. But the question is, would they come back in this path? And right on cue, there he is running right towards us. About 82 meters out roughly. Shouldn't be long before he's right in front of us. In fact, they are right there. Uh, let's get our dog to sit down. Last thing we want is to accidentally have our dog blocking our shot, which uh, very well still could happen, but that guy is 25 meters away. Um, we might actually be able to get some pictures of him. Beautiful. That is an awesome looking buck right there. Wow, what a monster. He did just kind of turn towards us though, which is a little bit unfortunate, it's not the most ideal shot to take, but he's exactly 20 away. So this should be pretty easy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take this guy down. Should be an easy shot to make. And that is a dead level 3 white tail deer, along with his buddy. This guy is just a 157, but this one right here is much nicer. And this is probably going to be actually one of the smallest diamonds we've got off of Rancho, but still a really nice buck at 259.40. What a beautiful deer, and we got to take him with the bow from 20 meters, or 21.86 to be exact. Probably the coolest kill we've got on a diamond whitetail here on Rancho. Most of our kills have been with either the M1 or the 303. I think we did get one with the air rifle, but... Nothing quite as cool as this right here because we managed to get super close and actually get to watch him for a little bit before we took the shot, which I think is really cool. And we made a pretty much perfect shot too. All right, everybody, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. These are all of the bucks that we got uh, over the last like week or so. The biggest diamonds that we got, the two that were shown off in this video and then a 259 that we got a few videos ago. 
decided to put them in a huddle mount in one of our secondary lodges and I think they look pretty good. Uh, but with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment down below with what you guys would like to see me do in the next video because this was a little bit of a break from our uh, Rediscovering Leighton Lake mini-series that we're doing. So let me know what you guys would like me to check out on Leighton next because it does appear there's been quite a few changes and, and I'm sure that there's some changes that we have yet to discover. So be sure to leave your suggestions down below and I will try to respond to as many of them as possible or even do them in a video. So with that being said, guys, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!